Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, Wombat, and I hope everyone is having a good day. Last episode, we just got to the Arid Nexus Boneyard, and I said I was going to go farm the bee. I farmed for the bee, and I also did try to farm for the bitch. The bitch farm was unsuccessful, and, uh, and I just felt like continuing the story. But I did get the bee over here. I also, while farming for the bitch, I managed to pick up a really nice sniper, a somewhat decent shotgun. I say decent because it's really good damage, but it's only a two shot. And a really good rocket launcher. Now, <laughs> with the bee, I forget what level it is. This is a level 18 herald. You want to see how much damage this does with the bee? 4700 I w once I picked up the B from I forget his name this this man over here I was shredding the fuck out of the bunker a clip and a half the two clips of Herald ammo and it, it, he was dead see the only problem with the B shield it's an amp sh it's an amp shield so if you get shot, the effects don't apply. The, the shield has to be fully recharged or at its maximum capacity. But the difference with the B shield is most or all other amp shields in the game, as soon as you shoot, it decays some of your shield so you can't have constant amp damage. The, the, the B on the other hand does not decay your shield. So, do I have to go up there? Oh, oh, I really make me get out of the vehicle for no reason game. No reason. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the benefit is that it doesn't decay your shield when you shoot. So you constantly have, in my case, it's an extra thousand damage per shot, which I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Oh, because I have all the other damage bonuses on, on, on Axton. Never mind. I was wondering why it almost did 5,000 damage when the amp only does a thousand. So realistically, I should only be hitting for 1300, but I have like 80% extra damage. Like I have a lot of extra damage. That's not what I wanted to start with. Hmm. All right, the turret should be able to get me up. Now let me back up a little bit just so I could recharge his shield. But look at the. F also, this not only does the is the base fire rate of this sniper really high, but with my seventy. Well, actually, I I forgot to show. I picked up another class mod, which helps out my metal storm, which increases my fire rate from sixty now to seventy two. So you're looking at a five fire rate sniper. With 72% more fire rate. Really? Okay. Yeah, but th this thing shreds too. I didn't really use it on the bunker because the Herald was superior. It says there's enemies over here. I don't see any. Oh, there we go. But yeah, as long as I can ma uh, make sure that the shield does not... Or I don't get hit... Like, okay, I have no idea how I got hit there. He shot through, like, three tubes. But, yeah, if I can manage my shield so that I don't get hit, I will pretty much blow through the rest of this uh, playthrough. Also, once I get to the warrior, the warrior is pretty much already confirmed dead. I'm going to use the herald, and his health bar is just going to drop immediately i'm pretty sure about that Ooh. my camera must have moved there we go well good thing i looked over i did not realize that the headroom on the camera was in fact too much but that's better so go over here Gotta get these pumps. Gotta get your pump maxed. Max the pump. But yeah, right. Pretty much, I'm at the point now in this playthrough that with the B shield, 
Uh, pretty good. I shouldn't have to worry about... I'm definitely not going to be farming anything else until the warrior, which... And that's even if I feel like having the conference call. Really? Here you go. I have a turret. Yeah, but that extra damage is so big. And then with the fire rate for my kill skill, I'm a force to be reckoned with. And I still do have my fastball, so if my shield is down and I know I'm not going to be able to put out really high damage consistently, I still do 20,000 damage for a grenade. So... And also, the benefit of me getting the B-Shield is that the capacity on the B-Shield was higher than my current, or at the time, my current uh, shield. So it was a win-win, kind of. Well, it would be nice if they weren't hiding behind fucking walls. That's, that's great. Whatever. I'm actually okay with that, because I have to get to the beginning of this room or building anyway. So this is just going to make it a little bit easier. Actually, normally what I would do here is when I when I turn those uh, wheels, I would normally just jump off the side anyway, so that I can immediately spawn back. But I forgot to do that, so I guess they helped me out here. All right, so let's go into truck. I only got one more pump to go. I see a ramp. This one in particular, I have attempted and successfully ninjaed these pumps, but I'm probably not going to be able to do it. Ooh, can I get through here, though, without getting hit? That would be cool. Nice. I'll take it. I'm not quite sure what they're distracted by, but I don't mind it. Can I... I almost died there. Are you kidding me? If he would have just let me get in the driver's seat in the first place, I wouldn't have died. Whatever. Honestly, I don't care. I don't know where the save spot was. Hopefully it's nowhere... That's gonna destroy me as soon as I spawn. Um. Oh, I spawned back down here. Okay, I'll take that. I am a okay with that. Actually, why even bother doing that? I'll just save, quit, and then go back to the beginning of the area. Efficiency. Look at that. Big plays. 10,000 IQ plays. That's them speed... Actually, I didn't even think of it. That technically would be a strat you can use for speed running because even if you didn't... Even if you um, didn't get spawned back down where I was, even if you stave and quit as soon as you got that second set of pumps... Activated, that would still be quicker than driving over here. I think actually it would be cool. I'm not like I said, I wasn't gonna I'm not going to farm Saturn, but it would be cool if he dropped one of his legendaries, being that I just finished trying to farm bunker for like forty five minutes and didn't get the bitch. The game teased me, like nine or the majority of the time it showed the bitch in the loading screen, but it didn't drop it. It was like, they, the game was like, you, we know what you want. We're not giving it to you, but we know what you want. We're going to show it to you, but we're not giving it to you. Yeah. 
Okay, Arid Nexus Badlands. Otherwise known as First Area in Borderlands 1. I could go for the Ladyfinger, but I don't think it's worth. I have really no use for it. I probably should have saved that just for a little bit of extra damage on Saturn, but whatever. I just have to make sure my shield is up. Only thing that sucks is Saturn spawns quite far back. He actually spawns on the highway up here, but back here. So I'm going to have to get somewhat close to him in order for my, uh, for the majority of my Herald shots to actually connect. What I could do is go under this under the highway right here so that when he spawns he actually jumps down. What did he hit me with? How did his Okay, that's complete bullshit. How the fuck did his bullets hit me before he jumped down? Those aren't heat seeking. Or uh well, that's great. Unless I destroy one of his turrets on him, I'm going to be dead here. That's great. I die because of this game's fucking bullshit. That's cool. Oh, cool. I got a second wind. Doesn't mean I have my shield up, so I still have no fucking damage. But the only thing that he shoots out that tracks you are these. So I have no idea why those blue shots hit me when he wasn't even off the bridge yet, but should not have happened. Look at that. See how easy it is when the, when the, the B shield is procced? Easy. Oh, actually, that is the... Uh, mm, is that the exact one that I want? I don't think so. I'll have to wait until level 29 to see. I But I, it, that might be the slag grenade that I've been talking about. And that's another 10% cooldown. Don't mind if I do. So I didn't get the invader or the hive. The hive isn't even a legendary. A hive, the hive is a blue. And I don't see it. So. Let's keep on going. Put this down, let's go. I'm just gonna try to rush in here. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, never mind. You know, just casually destroy the badass constructor's health before he even lands. There we go. What badass constructor? I don't see a badass constructor. Let's just quickly go through this area real quick. If I remember correctly, on the top floor over here, a constructor spawns. Not over here, wait. Over here, a constructor spawns as well. I don't know if that's guaranteed or if it's uh, random, but I definitely have seen constructors go over there. Let's check over here. Oh, it's the other side. I actually didn't know there was two sides. I thought there was only the one. But... <laughs> His missiles can't hit me. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to kill him. I don't need to kill him. I kind of just wasted time there. Where do I have to go to... I believe I have to go to Sanctuary, so I'm going to save and quit. Oh, I was going to say, I thought that was a uh, fast travel. Okay, good.
and I believe actually I think once I turn this in it's the warrior which I wanted to keep for its own video or I shouldn't say the warrior just yet but it's the the area right before the warrior so I want to keep all that in one episode I just want to confirm that that is where I'm going next and if it is then the episode will end here yes okay yep talent of god okay so this is the end of the episode next episode will be the ending of the first playthrough because i'm not doing these side quests and then we will go into true vault hunter mode i don't know when i want to do the side quest if i want to wait until ultimate vault hunter to do it i prop that's probably what i'll do i'll do all the side quests in ultimate vault hunter but until next episode, when I destroy the face off of, or melt the face off of the warrior very quickly. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Hit the subscription button, as it helps out tremendously. And, and it's free. Also, ring the bell icon below. So, when I upload the videos, you get notified when they go up. Until next time, I hope everyone has a good rest of the day, and peace out.